Hello and welcome everyone. I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called The Invisible Hand. The Invisible Hand was developed by Power Struggle Games. It was published by a fellow traveler and it was released onto the PC on May 7, 2021 with the current MSRP of 1299. All right, let's get on with it. I'm going to try to beat the whole game right now. Uh, it took me roughly three hours to beat it. It's a very interesting stock market sim game with the story. Uh, I would kind of liken it to a game called Not For Broadcast. You know, it's similar vibes. This one is a little more mild, whereas Not For Broadcast took it to 11. Anyways, I want to get into it. So this is the start of the game. So things are, you know, it's a little bit hectic in the, in the very beginning where all these things are happening. You don't know what's going on. It's pretty hectic. Just, just let it pass, you know? You don't need to mind anything that's happening right now. <laughs> okay. Alright, you know, nothing really important happens here. You can switch screens if you want. Just wait for this to uh, be over. I wish you could kind of skip that on your second or third mult playthrough. Um, it's, I wish you can skip through the beginning part. Okay, so you're playing as a newbie and analyst for a discompany. A paid internship. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure if this affects anything, but basically you can just click begin test and then just click confirm because it already selected the correct answer for you. So it'll ask you these ethical questions like you are approached by a high net worth individual with substantial capital gain. Who explicitly states the desire to exempt it from all taxation in all jurisdictions. Do you open the account and ensure the client that your firm will be able to complete this request? Blah blah blah. So you can just, uh, the last one selected is the right answer, ethically speaking. So you can just skip through all of this. Again, not sure if it actually impacts anything. Also, the questions are the same every time you play the game. So if you want to look through it, you can just start a new game. Okay. Now, I don't know if this impacts anything either. Let's write down stocks. <laughs> okay. 100% on my a salary to crowdfunding, and then you get a bonus of $500,000. I'm gonna give him all my money. I don't think that ever happens, but stocks. Okay, now you can choose story difficulty, which means that you can't be fired for performing poorly. Uh, I would recommend doing that if you find the game difficult, or you can just play it normally. Basically, if you don't complete the objectives and make a profit, uh, they just fire you and the game's over and you have to start all over again. You can reload from the last story save point, but you, know, you can do whatever you want. Okay. It's all the intro. 
Now that NPC that you see in front of you, it changes. I think they randomly pick a preset sort of uh, assortment of NPCs to be the boss character. This reminds me of Super Liminal where they had the controls on the screen and I didn't realize that it was actually on the map. On the, on the level, I mean. What you're going to do is you're going to wait uh, here until it hits 10 for the mandatory meeting. You can go around if you want. You can't really go into the office yet. Okay. You go in here. This is where you took the test. Oh, the invisible hand. Hmm, I didn't even notice that the first time through. Now as you're playing the game, uh, there is a story behind everything. It's kind of interesting, uh, I think they nail I mean, he can't really nail all of the intricacies of, you know, playing the stock market game in real life. But I think they do a pretty good job of gamifying it and all the kind of nastiness behind it. The uh, hmm, questionable things you're doing to make a profit. <laughs> Okay. Blah blah blah. Okay. So basically, this is how the game works. You got four screens you can mouse up. You can put different stocks on it if you want. Harper Word is your main competitor. He's the guy who helps you out. Okay, so basically, you can track two stocks here if you want. Geistnet is basically insider information. Obviously, that's not legal, but <laughs> coffee will surge at 4 p.m. today. All right. So here we see the company. We're going to buy everything that we... All the money's going in there. Spending all our money on it. Okay. So this is your portfolio. Uh, this is your trade fee. So this is basically like social media posts on what's what people think are gonna happen. And the most important thing is you're gonna see and look for, um, you're gonna check, for, sorry, for the number of likes it has. So this means that prices of Aquaform are gonna go up. And basically what you wanna do is take a long position, which means you're gonna buy it with the hopes that it's gonna go up and then sell it for a profit. Whereas a short position is you're going to borrow a stock and you, you think that it's going to go lower. So then you borrow it and then you buy it out and you're going to make a profit because the price is lower now. Uh, <laughs> so that's not it though. I'm going to see you later. Then you can collect, uh, not collect, sorry, click on these things and look at, you know, if you look at produce, you'll see uh, what's what it's used in. Right here and then you'll see what companies use that product so later on you're gonna unlock the ability to hire or employ lobbyists aka bribing the government and one way or another to make prices go up or down uh, based on you know policies they put into place they just abstract that into a game mechanic and just goes up or down so later on you're gonna f impact countries as well and you end up starting a civil war <laughs> uh yeah so it's kind of like meta commentary on the the questionable ethics of um the stock market game and what what uh people with a lot of money and power are doing to just make a profit but the base game is pretty fun so what we can do is 
If you want to wait, you go over to the coffee machine. Coffee will speed up time. Later on, you'll lack a uh, higher strength coffee, which will speed up more time. You can watch the news here. So he says the global demand for gourmet coffee is soaring. Major firms are unable to secure blah, blah, blah. Shares in all major coffee companies, including long time leader Dark Rose, are expected to fall. So everything's saying that coffee is gonna fall, right? But you have insider information saying it's actually gonna soar at 4 p.m. today. So we're gonna go to our stocks and we're gonna sell everything. And when it hits, oh, this is the price tracker. Obviously green is going up, red is going down. And here, it went up. And sell there. And we made a massive profit. So here, today's uh, goal was to make $5,000 on coffee related markets. We made 33,000 bonus. <laughs> so now we just wait for the market to close and then we go home. Before that, you're going to see an evaluation report. So here, like green grocers, uh, if it doesn't have a high number of likes, it's unreliable. And sometimes they bamboozle you by giving you fake information. So you got to watch out for that. Also, Geisnet is not available all the time, uh, so you have to rely on news reports. And sometimes they're not that accurate. Alright. Okay, so here as you make a profit, you can rank up and get promoted. So our first goal is Analyst. We have our competition here, so as we do well, we gain XP, and the better we do, that competition gets fired <laughs> at the end. If you do poorly, we get fired, so this is kind of like a quote-unquote boss fight. Here, later on, when you, uh, you can abuse the lobbying system, but if you do it too much, they're going to start investigating and then your public opinion meter is going to swing down. They'll save you a couple times, but if you use it too much, you get fired as well. Okay. So here, later on, you're going to be able to buy condos, houses, and mansions. And then what you do is you take the furniture that you have, put it in those buildings, and then rent it out. You're going to lease it out for uh, daily income. Um, most of the time, you're going to break even in about 18 days, so it's worth doing. But yeah, this is uh, basically a way to generate income so that you have more money to put into stocks. And then, you know, make a massive profit. Um, you can do stuff like take a short position, use lobbyists to tank the price, sell it, uh, buy it back, and then immediately buy it again. There's going to be immediate spike because they're going to, there's going to be a bailout and then, you know, take a long position and then sell that for profit. Oh man, it's just, it's, it's dirty. <laughs> it's dirty. All right. I don't know if that's how the actual stock market works, like people trading on it. But in this game, you know, you can do stuff like that. Also, it gets dirtier because like, later on when you're trying to sway public opinion or, you know, pay lobbyists to tank a certain stock, uh, the related stocks also tank a little bit, so you can short all of them, you know? Like, this is evil. Why does this exist? Coming up short. So this time we, we're going to learn how to short stocks. Okay, this guy just talks to you every day. That's some random stuff. Uh, you can check the news. 
Oh, we got a bear now. Unbearable. Ha ha ha. Okay, this guy. The conversations are so random sometimes. Like, it doesn't really make sense. I'll put the bear there. Okay, we got the stock photo, which is hilarious. Oh my god. No, no. Okay. No. It's a little bit annoying. The game is a little bit janky. Okay. Coffee will drop at 2 p.m. So here... Oh, why can't I short this? There we go. Okay, we're gonna short it for everything we have. Dark roast. Obviously you wanna buy it when it's... I mean, shorter one is at the highest point, and then wait for it to tank. Okay. Blah blah blah. So this guy's saying, take a long position on Starnux. So when you short a stock, you gain money, and then you can use that to take a long position on a certain stock. Um, <laughs> uh, it's kind of dirty, dude. All right, so you have to wait until 2 p.m. Okay. Oh, I can show you guys the products now. So if you'll click on this, you can see the supply chain. So coffee and water affects beverages. And the suppliers that sell beverages are Starnux. So later on, you're going to see the lobbyist option and you can affect beverages either positively or negatively. It affects the entire supply chain one way or the other. Okay. So we're gonna drink some coffee this unit of the time. We got a new strength. And as you can see time is going a lot faster. You can take you can drink tea to slow down time. Okay. Our goal here, daily challenge, make 15,000 on coffee related markets. So again, you can go to products or some materials. Yeah, click on coffee and see all the companies that are related. So as long as you make money, either taking a long or short position on these companies, you'll make it. Okay, so it's going to hit 2 p.m. And the prices have tanked. Okay. Buy back now, and we can sell here. There, and then we made massive profit right there. Okay. So it's saying we should buy green grocers. And take a... Alright, now we just sell this. Gonna wait for the end of the market for the close before we sell it. You have to sell it quickly, the time is going. Oh, it's fluctuating pretty hard though. All right, I'm just gonna sell it right now. All right, more profit. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Basically, the furniture is used to 
increase the amount of lease you can get for all your rental properties. Okay, so you can read the news or you can, if you're too lazy like me, just click uh, see tip. Uh, these are not oftentimes uh, right, but we can just take a look. So it's saying that Aquaforma and green grocers are going to grow up. We're going to see here, we need to make 40,000 on coffee related products. Uh, Dark Rose Company is going to go down. So we can take a short position here. short for all of it. Now it says Aquaforma is going to go up. And Green Grocer is going to go up as well. Okay. Now the stocks that you own are up here and you can see the general profit you're going to make. Green is obviously a positive and red is a negative. Uh oh, it's going up now. Uh oh. <laughs> Should I cut my losses? Oh no, it's soaring. What is this? This news article lied. I forgot to pay attention to this. Well, I'll wait for it to go back down. Minus 18. Oh man, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Aquaform is going down. Uh oh. Who stuffs? Uno eats. Water is going back up again. Okay. Why is Dark Rose still fluctuating so hard? Whatever. Okay. sell this as soon as this is over. So the game tells you, you know, how long it's going to be going up. It's very convenient to sell that. Produce. Should I buy green grocers? Okay. 
I'm gonna run out of time for making profit on coffee. Unfortunate. I, I like this game, by the way. <laughs> I think it's fun. I know it's not for everyone, but uh, I, I enjoyed my time with it quite a bit. numbers going up I like seeing that oh dark rose company come on I need you to fall okay sell that sell that subsidies oh no beverage related okay this will boost it for a little bit okay Well, this is pretty much a fail right now. I need this to tank all the way down. Yes, drop more. See, like it's... You're making a profit by manipulating the market so that companies do worse and like it impacts people's jobs you know like you start a freaking civil war in the country so that you can make a profit you know it's dirty it's dirty money are we getting there oh it's going up again we might be able to get to 40k I gotta sell real soon though. Time is running out. Come on, you can drop a little bit more. Okay, I just gotta sell. Ah, eh, close enough, you know. We made analyst. Oh, I made us. Oh, close to associate too. Alright. They're fired already. All right, now we have the real estate unlocked. I can buy a house straight up. Wow, okay. So here you just select um, your items. And you put it in. As you can see, the lease price is, is going up. Gonna lease that. Uh, we're rich enough where we can just buy a house right away. So we're gonna go buy furniture for that. Executive chair. Everything is for the purpose of increasing your lease price. Okay. Executive chair. Okay. Uh, I bought everything except for the mansion last time I played. I could have bought a car. Or I didn't have enough money to buy art. But yeah. This will generate passive income now. And... It'll give you more money to buy stocks. <laughs> so every time they get fired, they have this like really angry speech. It's like, F you, F this. Okay. So now, uh... You're gonna do some questionable things later on. And you actually have to pay for what you did later <laughs> we'll see if they can make it to the end though okay ba 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 that's a new rival. That's your apar apartment. Okay.
So Balcador is like uh, the fictional country they came up with to create this situation, so... So Northern Oil and Gas will go up. I'm not sure if you can avoid doing this part. Anyways, so this is where you get your lobbyists unlocked. So people are expecting the price of oil to go up, but you're gonna make a tank. Alright, so you go here. We're gonna short. Take a short position on it. And then we're gonna go use the lobbyist. Consider going long on plastic suppliers. So sending the lobbyist to lower the price of oil will also increase the value of products the ingredient is in. So if we make it go down, plastic is gonna go up. So let's go to products, plastic, S A plasticos, and take a long position on that. Okay. So let's go to materials, oil. We're gonna we want the price to tank. It costs money to bribe people, obviously. So you wanna you wanna save a little bit in reserve. Now, if you use too many lobbyists at one time, it's going to cause a massive spike in either direction and then you're going to get investigated. So later on, you want to be more careful in how you use it and you kind of want to spread it out so that, you know, <laughs> uh, it's harder to track. All right, there we go. We tank the price. The public meter is right there on the upper right hand corner of that little section. So we finished the day there, we can end it there if you want. Just drink coffee and end the day. You can drink tea if you want to slow down time, so you have better time to react to any fluctuations in the market. I wonder how much coffee you can drink. Can you, like... <laughs> well, let's just see what happens. I'm kind of like, do you die? The music is pretty fantastic, too. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay. How much coffee I'm drinking? This is unhealthy. I'm drinking it before even it comes out of the machine. Time is closing so I mean uh passing by so quickly. Concerned. Mm. 
Hmm, I'll buy a car. Like, can I put that in my house? I wonder. I can't store it in there. Oh, do I buy for the mansion? I wonder. Whatever. We'll figure it out later. Oh, fired. Like some weird kind of uh, James Bond type of music going on right there. Looking through my notes real quick. Okay. So the bailout's not coming, meaning you basically screwed over the country and made a lot of people lose their jobs. <laughs> and uh, yeah. It kind of reminds me of, again, not for broadcast, uh, Papers, Please has a sort of similar type of, like, meta-commentary going on. Okay. So, Robo will search at 2.30. If you look here, you click on Robo. And you'll see that all of these companies will go up by quite a bit. So we're going to take long positions on all of these. Oh, wait, wait a second. Robo Dark Rose Company. All right. And let's see. Northern Oil and Gas. Now you do want to save money to bribe people. Okay, our goal is to make 50k on Valkydorian companies. Gonna wait until 2.30. And drink some coffee. Again, you can just actually play the game and try to make a massive profit. Or you can just complete the daily challenge and call it a day. It's up to you, whatever you feel like doing. Okay. Now, a couple ways you can make a profit now, now that you have lobbyists, you can put people there to increase the price of the robo. Increase the value so all those stacks go up. Um, you know, you can... So let's see, I have a coffee company right here, so I can look and, you know, make a coffee go up. They're like, what happened there? Hmm. Interesting. Gonna skyrocket. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, so you can organize a party, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's a little dumb. But I'll show you what it does. Basically, you lose a day's worth of rent on it for the party, and it takes a day to clean it up, so you lose two days worth of rent. But in exchange, what you do is you get tips from your fellow co-workers on what's going to happen. So then you have information on like what you should be investing in and how. Okay, it says short VR. Okay. Intel about danger zones, munitions. Hmm. Condo will need, really. So basically what happens is, uh, if you look at munitions, if we see a spike anywhere and you lobby them, they're going to investigate you. Your public opinion will drop, so you got to be very careful. But what you can see is, alright, we want to increase munitions. It's the ingredient used in weapons, right? So we can just go straight to weapons. Or is, um, you know, lobby for like weapons to go up. Uh, well, this is a bad example because muni munitions is a product. But let's say something was used in the creation of munitions. You can, you know, pay a lobbyist to go around that. Anyways, where's the VR company? I don't even see it here. Okay, 130k on water affiliated markets. Alright. Water, we have Aquaforma and Southern Soda. Okay, Southern Soda. And Aquaforma. We gotta save money for bribes. Then we can go to products. I might have messed up for this one. No, minus 40,000, bro. Bro. <laughs> okay, it's going up now. We should see Southern Soda doing better. Hmm. Wait, do we want water to be cheaper? I don't remember what we're supposed to do. I guess we can try tanking the price and see what happens. Oh, why is this tanking? I'm mean, gonna go down, but it's not going up.
I done goofed. <laughs> oh, Aquaform is going down. Hmm. Trying to bribe people. I don't think we're gonna make it. First trend can do it. Oh yeah. And we can keep it going, come on. <laughs> oh no. industry no sell is it gonna drop oh god that was the wrong time for that to happen whatever take a loss man all right did not do too well there Can I put a car in a condo? Oh, it increases the lease by a lot. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Alright. Why don't I just put a car in here then? That's worth. Should I buy more cars? Should I save for another house? I can see. Oh yeah, I'm pretty close to another house. I'll wait, I guess. I like this. This kind of at a glance. General trends. And what's our goal? Uh, get coal price ten percent higher. Okay. So let's see. Coal, northern oil and gas. Do they use coal? No. I mean, if we're gonna have to bump the price up, right? We're gonna have to take a long position on it. And then we're gonna look for coal used in plastics. So, can.
Hmm. I'm gonna be very careful that I don't I don't like abuse it, you know? <laughs> Bring it up, my dudes. Right, people. I don't know if I'm supposed to make plastics cheaper or I don't I don't understand, you know? I don't I don't get if I'm supposed to make it lower or higher, but it's okay, you know it's okay. I'm smooth brain. dropping come on baby <laughs> how high can we go This is going down so much. I was sitting at 70k and now it's at 40. I was not paying attention. I'm not the best at this game, alright? Uh. Oh no. What's going on right now? Did I sell too early? I think I was supposed to keep a hold of that. Yeah, it's okay. Eh, whatever. I messed up. Oh no, I could have made massive profit. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna drink coffee and then end the day. I did my goal. find this fun though I'm a little tired I don't fully understand it but you know what I'm, I don't oh it's going up all the way now I should have held on to it eh now it goes up jeez okay I can buy another house now I can add some cars to it. The Duck Master? There's a car named a Duck Master? Okay. What 
whatever, whatever boss man. Yelling at me for a PR stunt. More pictures. <laughs> okay. Make one hundred thousand on the free un uh, free state union related markets. All right. FSU, Southern Soda, AK twenty four seven. Let's see. Green Grocers. Recent Union Lobby going up, really? Hmm. Southern Soda. Oh, buy Southern Soda. What are, what are other companies? Citralic Mobile? I don't see it. It's not available yet. Is this gonna go up? Can I make it go up is the better question. Mm. Okay. water uh munitions okay Enough people, grease some palms to see an upward uh, tick, you know, upward trend. Basically, the whole gameplay loop is you have until closing to make the general trend go up or down depending on what position you took by basically bribing governments. <laughs> Alright, so. gentle bump up, you know? Same thing with this. It's a gentle bump up. Price of foodstuffs? I Southern Soda's beverage, so it's fine. It's not gonna affect the uh, these stock prices. Oh no, FSU tanked, please! See, if you keep bumping it up, they investigate. So you gotta, you know, just gently bump it up from time to time. Unfortunate. Okay, look at the coffee and water trends. Gonna increase this gentle bump up. Okay. Oh no, Southern Soda. What happened? It's 
gentle bump up. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're getting close to 100k. If I meet my goal, I'm just gonna sell it. Unless I see it going up. Alright. No, why is F FSU always going down, dude? Oh, we can sell this. We met our goal. Now we just have to make sure Southern Soda is profitable. Dude, what is going on with this company? It's like... Did it rise so high? I will right, sell it there. I'm happy enough with that. All right. Not bad. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Oh, I might. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm if I get fired for that. We'll see. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna save up for a mansion. No one's gonna yell at me. There you go. Oh, oh, <laughs> big words. Sooner or later, the cops come to investigate you, the company. All right, let's see. Make a hundred ten K on oil. Plastics lobbying going up. Northern oil and gas going down. Take a short position on Northern Oil and Gas. Let's make a tank. Oh yeah, oh yeah boy. <laughs> Keep going down.
be patient. Oh yeah. Keeps dropping. How low can it go? See, like you're rooting for this company to do poorly because you want the stock prices to be as low as possible so you can buy them back and make a massive profit. You're kind of detaching yourself from the human element of this being an actual company. But not in the game, obviously it's all fictional, but like let's say in real life, you know. It being an actual company, employing real people with real families and you know, real lives that you're kind of ruining by manipulating the market. You know, it's crazy, it's insane. Kind of like sear your conscience so you don't, you don't think about what you're doing. <laughs> For the almighty dollar. Oh man, it's just tanking. Is it going up now? Upper strand? I can never tell. I gotta just sell it here. I'm okay if it drops more. I met my goal, made a massive profit, and I'm gonna drink coffee to speed up the time. I like how it just the the pitch of the speech thing goes faster as you're speeding up time. I mean, goes higher. Sorry. And I'll just wait for this to be over. I think I might have to call it quits here. I think it's actually going to take three hours to go through the game again. Uh, even though I, I have a better idea of how to play it. I think this should give you guys an idea what the game is like. I'll do a full playthrough play later when I know how to play the game properly and kind of win. Or I might just do it in the story mode so you guys can see the whole thing. I think it's very interesting. We hit associate, nice. Fired already. Okay, can we buy- we can buy a mansion now. We don't have enough to... To lease it though. We'll, we'll save. We'll save it for next time. Okay. Okay, goodbye. I think the investigation scene is soon. Yeah, here we go. So the Popo are here. So they're investigating. I'm like, no, I need to make money. I need to make money. <laughs> Let me in.
So narrative does some interesting stuff where they give you little tidbits here and there like that, and then it does have an impact on the ending. Um, I don't know if you can change the ending, but you know, let's just say you have to pay for what you did. <laughs> All right. So again, they kind of have a pre assortment of NPCs and they just rotate through other characters. So next time you go to this stage and you gotta fight against the quote unquote druggy dude for the spot to, you know, be promoted, uh, it might look like someone else. See, now the country is on the brink of a civil war because of what you did. Look what you did for the sake of profit. Alright, why don't I call it quits here? Uh, once again, the game is the Invisible Hand. I had a pretty good time with it. Uh, it's developed by Balancing Monkey Game. Oh, sorry, that's a different game. Power Struggle Games, uh, published by a fellow traveler, and the current MSRP is $12.99. It's out on PC. The prices and release date may vary from platform to platform and region to region. I don't know if it's coming out for console. But yeah, it's a pretty neat game. It looks a little chanky, but I had a lot of fun with it. It took me roughly three hours to beat. Uh, I think there are some secret achievements, so presumably you can do things a little bit differently. Or some little hidden collectibles or something in this game that I haven't found yet. But yeah, I'm going to call it here. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. Hopefully it gave you guys an idea what the game is like. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Weapons will search this afternoon. I think this, this is the dividends one. Uh, let me see. Weapons is uh, Missile Tech AG. I'm going to take a long position. Uh, yeah, I think it unlocks dividends. Anyways, I'm going to call it there. As always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there, and I'll catch you guys next time.